Akanksha Singh is here. What's up? How are you? Good to see you. Oh, good. How are you? Good. I was hanging with the Ajay Devgan and Rakul and uh, your principal crew. <laughs> and I can't wait to see what Runway 34 is going to look like. I mean, there's so much excitement and buzz around the film. Yes. Uh, how are you feeling? A little knot in the stomach? Or are you no, just confident? I'm feeling I'm very confident, but I'm uh, really excited for it. There's so many butterflies in my stomach right now. Uh, but that's uh, all because I'm so excited and I'm waiting for the film as you all are. <laughs> So how how did you bag it? Did they did they make you do multiple look tests, or was it just an instinctive yes? Uh, considering that Ajay is producing, directing as well as acting in it, and you play his wife yeah. in the movie, yeah. don't you? Talk to me about the casting process. Uh, so I was in Jaipur. I was uh, there to celebrate Diwali. Uh, it was in twenty twenty, and I when I went there and I landed, I got to know that my whole family got COVID positive. So I had to stay in a hotel. And uh, so I didn't have, uh, you know, much to do in the hotel. So I got a call from the casting director and he said that, you know, uh, this film used to we like we used to call it Mary earlier. And he told me that this film is being made and uh, Ajay sir is producing it, directing it and also acting in it. So I was like, oh, it sounds interesting. And he said that, you know, I have showed them your uh, short film, Methi Ke Laddu, to them. And they really liked it. But, you know, I really want you to record a self-test, a small bit, and you send it to me and then we'll take it forward. I said, okay, anyhow, I don't have much to do <laughs> being in a hotel room. So I just recorded it and sent it to them and they really liked it. So it was November uh, 2020 and December I was shooting. So. Cool. <laughs> and this is massive. You know, people go through about... 50, 7,500 films before they get to work with the great man, with Mr. Amitabh Bachchan. Yeah. And here are you so early on in your career getting yeah. to work with him. And I believe you had a great rapport with him and he, yeah, he's, been, he's been exceedingly kind. He's such yeah. a gentleman, isn't yeah. he? Talk, talk yeah. about that. Um, yeah, it was in my bucket list and I told him that too, that, you know, uh, I always, it was my dream to be on set with you and to work with him and he was just laughing. He was so kind. He was just uh, laughing at me and smiling at me and I, was, I told him that, you know, sir, um, everybody has dreams and I also ha had this in my bucket list to work with you. Uh, I won't say that, you know, it's fully, f you know, fulfilled because I really want to do a full-fledged film with you, but it is slightly ticked and he just smiled and stuff and I had a fracture in my foot and uh, he asked me how you commute and stuff I said with my walker and he said okay I'll get you a buggy I said oh okay he must be kidding and the very next day I uh, see him on set on a three-wheel scooter and he sent that buggy to my place and stuff so he was really very kind and I never thought that I would share a repo with Mr. Bachchan <laughs> um, apart from shooting with him. So yeah, I'm really fortunate and grateful. Also, uh, Ajay's part is complicated in terms of the fact that uh, he's going through a lot as a pilot. He's a bit of a rule breaker, but at the same time, he's really good at his job. Um, and and his wife in the picture, they also show in the, in the trailer and some of the songs, there's also a child. Who's yeah. involved, yeah. isn't it? Um, uh, where does the wife's character fit in, as far as that is concerned? What is the wife like that like in this relationship? Uh, see, I um, as an actor, uh, why I said yes to this project, not just because this of the star cast and uh, Jay Esser, of course, and Amit sir, but also I asked them that what my character is, and this character Samara Khanna, she is not a trophy wife. She has some substance to play in the film. And when I uh, heard this story, I thought that, you know, I really want to do it. And uh, as an actor, I always felt that, you know, to be in a film or any project, it is very important for me to be there, not just for the sake. There has to be a substance. So this character is like that. And whenever, you know, in our lives also, when we feel low, we need one push. And we need one, that one person in our life that who just takes uh, all the pain and stuff. So she is like that. She is a backbone uh, in this relationship, and she always uh, push him hard to, you know, be and believe uh, in himself. So yeah, that's wonderful. And uh, I was just hanging with Nani, the South superstar, during uh, Sham Singh Roy. We did yeah, a wonderful yeah. interview together. Yeah. We we're chatting a lot, and he was telling me about his his life during the lockdown. He's a really simple, rooted guy. I believe you're doing a, sh a series with him. Is it a series uh, or a it's movie? It's an anthology film. Wow. Yeah, and um, he's producing it. And uh, his 
sister is directing and has written it so yeah it's been an amazing journey throughout um, you know working under his production i've already worked with him in one film so he's an amazing person amazing human and so so grounded and down to earth you know uh, you started your career like a lot of people did in television yeah um and there was a natural progression to get into the movies in fact 2017 was akansha's uh first year in film dam which was badrinath ki tanhaniya yeah. uh, just your your memories of your days in tv and that first big break um it was a conscious decision to move from tv i because i come from a theater background and i always felt that you know there's a urge to play more and explore as an actor so i took that uh, conscious decision to move away from television and um i was waiting for good opportunities i was getting the same similar kind of roles i didn't want to do so when badri came to me i was like hey, this is this could be an experience and i took it as an experience and you know um it was a good team it was uh, i i asked shashank the director of the film that you know doesn't matter if it's a 5 minutes role those 5 minutes should be mine so i told him that and uh, he was like yes uh, people will remember you whatever the duration of the character is i said okay fine enough uh, let's go ahead and uh, when i did that film i had an experience to work on a film set and that's how my south journey started i got a call from my first um south uh, film mali rawa and that's how i started working down south that's quite cool ajay is known as a man of few words yes I think after years and years of interviewing him now he's comfortable enough to talk <laughs> to me about planes and this and that but that wasn't always the case about 15 20 years ago uh, you know he's also loosened up a lot so your relationship with him on set and you know off it um yes of course he's a man of very few words but uh, when it comes uh, to be as an actor on the set and also as a director there's so many responsibilities you have to take on your shoulders and i feel that you know he has done an amazing job his technical brilliance is up the gas and i have never worked uh, on a set with 12 cameras this is the first time i was shooting with you know 12 cameras wherever i used to see like cameras so uh, it was a totally different experience and also uh, he knows what he wants so of course we didn't talk much during the shoot but yeah on breaks like we used to chat and stuff but uh, yes he knows what he wants and uh, i really thoroughly enjoyed working with him how brilliant he is an actor we all know and uh, same like i loved getting directed uh, by him so yeah what is your tattoo here say this is my birth date the 30 july yeah you got to show that up <laughs> yeah i have one here also of your birthday yeah, yeah? no it's july. not a birthday but it's a, it's a sign These are what signs are they? They're so the first hieroglyphics or whatever we call them. Yeah. <laughs> the so first one is the create your own reality. The second one is uh, the sign sun sign. My I'm Leo, so that's there. And the triangle represents fire, and then sun my ruling planet. So it's all about my personality. Wow. Yeah. A Leo, that's our Kangsha. <laughs> work your work down south is just quite considerable. We were just talking about a Nani project. Other yeah. than that. You've done Devdas and Pelwan. Those are Devdas, of course, was a Telugu film. Pelwan yeah. was a Kannada project. Yeah. And your next one is called Clap, which is kind of like a bilingual, a sports drama, yeah. written and directed by Prithvi Aditya. So I'd like you to talk a little bit about your projects in the south, other than the Nani one, which you've talked about, and uh, you know what's coming out in the future. So um, next month, Parampara season two is going to release. It's the first uh, Telugu series on Hotstar, and uh, the season one is already a hit. Uh, it's released in seven languages including hindi so second season going to come next month um also a uh, clap is what do you play what do you play in parampara i am playing a reporter okay and uh, we have jagapati babu we have sharad kumar sir we have navin chandra so it's a good star cast and uh, really fortunate to be on uh, that project so second season is uh, going to come and uh, clap just released on sony live and it's it has done very good and i played hockey player in that so i always try to you know do catch or uh, catch on those characters which i really feel that you know um, will be great for me as an actor lesson on fact akanksha is a certified physiotherapist yes 
So I'm going to just change the tone of this interview and ask you what to do for sciatica. <laughs> <laughs> you need to really need to um, you know stretch a lot, and I feel that you know it depends how much pain do you have. That's so nice. Yeah, yeah. Most most physios will just tell me lose weight. At least you're saying stretch. no. Yeah, I, of course that's that's uh, one thing, but I didn't want you to. <laughs> <laughs> mention that fact but yeah so you actually practice as a physiotherapist or just, uh, no, you know, just moved on to movies very soon i no i started working when i was studying wow. so i never got a chance to practice but yeah i've completed my studies and then uh during studies only i have moved to bombay so wow <laughs> So if anybody has some kind of back pain, this, that, on the set, every you're the go-to person. Every <laughs> set, if you, if they get to know that I am a physiotherapy, a physiotherapist, or I've studied it, they start doing this that we have pain here. <laughs> so I am used to it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's lovely. And, and and clap. What do you play? I'm I mean, playing a hockey player. Oh, that's the one you so play. So that's yeah, player, that's yeah. that's already released and uh, yeah. Yeah. It's done. When I think hockey player, I think of Chuck the India. I mean, those girls were so fabulous. Did you have to practice a lot? Yeah, yeah I had to. Yes, yes. For uh, that period of time, I think uh, then COVID happened, then the film got delayed. Now it's released and people are really loving it. So that's <laughs> that's good. Awesome. What kind of music do you listen to? What's on your playlist? Are you a Bollywood person, international person? What kind of music? Do you I uh, listen to every like music is love. So there's no particular thing. I I listen to guzzles also. I listen to bhajans also. I listen to you know Bollywood music and I'm also international. So I think I'm mix of. I I'm music lover. So there's no particular genre. And I believe you're from the pink city of Jaipur. Yes, I am. Yeah, and everybody just talks about the beauty of of living and growing up in Jaipur. Yeah. You must have some wonderful fond memories. My heart is still there. Yeah. I always say that you know I've. Uh, I grew up there. I studied there, and if I don't, like, this is my karm bhumi, and that's my jan bhumi. So th there's always this thing that you know, when I want to retire, I want to go back to my city and stay. So uh, though I don't want to retire, <laughs> any time soon. But you know what they say about Bombay? It's like that uh, Raj Kapoor song, "Jina ya malna ya iske se." Yeah, true. true Ultimately, that. when you come here, you can't get true, enough true. of it. You know, yeah. so. And you must like the pace and the buzz of yes, it and things yes, like that. Yes. If you're walking, then Bombay is the best city, I would say. Not when you're giving auditions in Aram Nagar. Ah, <laughs> you got me there. <laughs> yes. Uh, but there's a beginning for everything. I mean, yeah, you know, I think just... uh, everybody has their own journey of struggles, and uh, it's a part and parcel of industry. And if you have to make it big, you have to go through so many things. Not only auditions. It's like giving test. So, you know, till now I sometimes I give self tests and stuff. So yeah, it is the part of our industry which we cannot take away. So, did you learn anything substantial from Mr. Bachchan? Were you on the set when one of his scenes was being filmed, yeah. or did you have different? You did, yeah. Yeah, yeah I was there, and uh, uh, why I said that you know I'm so fortunate because he, I feel that he is himself a school. You know, you can see him, you can observe him. He's so passionate about his work. Um, he just sit there. He reads his line. He blocks his scene. He asks the director that whether I do this is it okay for you with the camera and stuff. So he's so passionate about work. Like you know, the younger generation, or if I talk about myself also, if we are sitting on the set, we tend to if we are not working on like you know the scene is completed or some we have a break, we tend to go to the vanities and we sit. He is one guy I have seen that so punctual. If you give him call time of eleven a.m., he'll come on the set by nine thirty ten. So it's amazing to see that kind of, um, you know, personality and learn from him. It's it's amazing to see him on set and seeing him act. Like what, what do you miss most about uh, about Jaipur? Uh, the food. <laughs> home cooked food i would say and what is home uh, cooked food what what is the like uh, is there a cool dish resistance that one dish that's that's amazing that you really I love most? rajma chawal and curry chawal my mom that's a punjabi thing that you can have yeah. anywhere <laughs> <laughs> no but you know when your mom, mom cooks it it's it's different so i think i i really miss and are, are you guys vegetarians or non vegetarians i am vegetarian okay then i can't ask you whether you like lal mas or not it's very famous <laughs> i i can say that it's very famous there's gatte ki sabzi there's gatte ki sabzi and there's lal mas yeah, yeah gatte ki sabzi <laughs> mouth watering <laughs> <laughs> what do you love most about bombay um i really like the fact that you know it's uh, the working culture. The, the culture and the the pace this city never sleeps so i think uh, it's very good that's why i said that you know if you're working in bombay it's the best city 
to you know be there and work so i really enjoyed my time yeah and is there something that you love about filming down south like when you do tamil or kannada or telugu cinema uh they are very professional very very professional and start early uh, no they start really early <laughs> in the morning yeah so they are very professional also and uh, in a sense that they are very particular like here we uh, do sing sound but there they want everything to be perfect so they dub the whole film so wow. yeah they dub whole film they want the sync properly and stuff and i felt that you know working in three different languages i felt that you know tamil is very particular about how you speak and uh, how it should be the lip sync and everything so yeah it's it's different go cool. go watch akanksha singh in runway 34 along with ajay devgan mr bachchan and rakul and uh, we hope to see more and more of you cheers thank, thank you. you thank you so much rishike <laughs> 94.3 radio 1